right, so that's the symptom. In this video, I'm going to show you a possible way to fix that in five minutes or less, coming up right now. So the first thing I will usually do here is crimp the fuel line with a pair of uh, long nose vice grips like this, just like that. So this method I'm going to show you is only going to work if your mower has been sitting for a few months and the carburetor doesn't look that bad on the inside. If it's been sitting for years and it's all rusted out, this is just not going to work, so don't even try this. But if it's just been sitting for a few months and it won't start, and this is worth a try because it's a quick and easy thing. Um, this is a half inch usually on the uh, Briggs and Stratton right here, so I'm going to take the bowl out. Usually, um, well, let me first of all stuff a rag in there so that it catches any fuel that might be in the bowl and just take that nut off of the, well it's not the nut but it's the main jet right there might have some fuel there's some fuel running out of there just don't worry that's what the rags for all right here's your jet and just pop the bowl off kind of careful so you don't destroy that o-ring that's right there and let's see ah oh, yeah there's some uh, there's some stuff in the bottom there so uh, it doesn't look that bad that's gonna wipe right out of there so you might want to be wearing some safety glasses on this part I usually just take a can of brake clean if you have carburetor cleaner that's gonna work too and just kinda spray that in there and clean clean that up and get it from the back side too so spray it from the back and hit the uh, float and all that stuff okay so what we have here is the uh, main jet um, be careful of this gasket right here not to lose it or let it get destroyed uh, these usually get clogged up through the middle right here uh, so I usually take a set of these torch head cleaners like the one I got right here and um, you can use these because they have different size wires in them. If you don't have one of these, uh, and if you're a guitar player, a guitar string will fit through there. Anything real thin like that is what you're going to need to clean this out. So find the one that fits and just run that through there and clean that and do it the other way too like this. Make sure that that's clear through there. And then once you do that, take a, a can of brake clean or carburetor cleaner and just spray it make sure it comes out of there real good and if you have an air compressor uh, blow all that stuff out of there and that'll clear out any more of debris that might be uh, trapped inside of there all right so we got our main jet cleaned up let's just put everything back I've got the bowl uh, totally cleaned out right there make sure the o-ring is in place in this little groove in the top of the bowl and carefully just put that back just like so and put the jet back by the way the reason I didn't take this off right here a lot of the older models have a primer ball and if you disturb that gasket, sometimes when you put it back, it just won't work. You have to double and triple up the gaskets, and it is a nightmare to get that thing working again. It's a bad design, in my opinion. It's one of Briggs & Stratton's faults, but uh, the newer ones with the auto choke actually are more reliable. But I did it this way so we didn't have to take this off and ruin this gasket. Got it all fixed up. Let's see what happens. It works like a champ. If you have any questions, comment below and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.